According to Defense 360, the Spanish Army plans to launch a significant modernization program for its Leopard 2E main battle tank, MBT, fleet, comprising 219 units. This initiative forms a significant part of the broader Fuerza 35 project, aimed at enhancing the technological capabilities of the Spanish military to effectively address emerging threats. The modernization efforts will cover areas including command, control, and communication, C3, firepower, mobility, protection, and maintenance. The modernization program builds upon a contract awarded to Santa Barbara Sistemas for the maintenance of Leopard vehicles, valued at 200 million euros over three years. This contract includes provisions for platform improvements, laying the groundwork for subsequent modernization phases. Presently, the Spanish Land Force operates 239 Leopard 2E tanks dispersed across various mechanized brigades. Additionally, a contingent of Leopard 2E tanks contributes to NATO's reinforced forward presence mission in Latvia. Spain also maintains a fleet of 98 Leopard 2A4 battle tanks, following the dispatch of 10 2A4S to Ukraine. The Leopard 2E tanks share similarities with the Leopard 2A6, but feature components such as the Lince Battle Management System, BMS, and Indra License Built Thermal Imaging, T, Optics. Initially aimed at addressing obsolescence issues and reducing maintenance burdens, the upgrade plan has evolved into multiple phases due to increased funding. According to military sources, the program is currently in the preliminary stages of exploration, with a focus on conducting a thorough overhaul of the aging Leopard 2E, also referred to as Leopardo 2E. The proposed modernization efforts aim to match or surpass existing upgrades implemented in other European countries for similar battle tanks like the Challenger and Leopard 2A6. Under a collaborative partnership between General Dynamics European Land Systems and Santa Barbara Sistemis, several key enhancements are set to be implemented across the Leopard 2E fleet. These upgrades include the potential installation of various protective equipment, including the adoption of a new smoke protection system, the integration of a new frontal armor protection kit, as well as the installation of an active protection system, APS, coupled with a new early warning system, as well as advancements in both mine and improvised explosive device, IED, protection. In addition to defensive enhancements, offensive capabilities will receive a boost with the installation of a new Rheinmetall L55A1 120mm cannon, as well as the integration of a remotely controlled weapons system, RWCS, potentially armed with a Belgian FN Air Stahl Mag 58 7.62x51 a machine gun. Additionally, a complete situational awareness system will also be installed. Other improvements include the installation of multispectral camouflage nets for improved stealth, as well as the implementation of new tracks to enhance mobility. The modernization plan is structured into three distinct phases, each focused on the implementation of specific enhancements. Phase 1 concentrates on the resolution of obsolescence issues and improving sustainment efficiencies. This phase will include evolutionary maintenance actions aimed at addressing outdated components and ensuring the proper functioning of the vehicles throughout their life cycle. Upon completion of this phase, the Leopard 2E vehicles will transition to the 2EM1 variant, with an initial operational capability, IOC, targeted for 2029. The subsequent phases of the modernization program will see the substitution of main systems and the procurement of mission modules. Phase 2 involves the pre-installation of mission systems, bringing the vehicles to the Leopard 2 EM2 configuration, resembling configurations seen in the Leopard 2A7 series. Notably, this phase adopts a strategy of prioritizing essential components such as active protection systems, APS, and remote weapon stations, RWS. Phase 3 will see the acquisition of 60 mission modules, leading to the development of the Leopard 2 EM2 Plus standard, with a full operational capability, FOC, for these 60 units expected by 2032. These Leopard 2 EM2 Plus will include enhancements such as APS, an L55A1 gun, RCWS, laser warning systems, new armor packages, underbody protection against mines and IEDs, as well as smoke protection systems like ROSI. Additionally, a new driveline incorporating updated tracks and sprockets will be implemented to address mobility concerns. An interesting aspect of Spain's Leopard 2E history is the local production of the majority of its fleet by Impresa Nacional Santa Barbara, ENSB, later acquired by General Dynamics European Land Systems, Santa Barbara Sistemas. Consequently, from an industrial standpoint, Spain will likely intend to leverage its domestic expertise in tank assembly, as the majority of Leopard 2E tanks were assembled by ENSB, with contributions from other Spanish defense companies such as Indra, Sapa, Technovit, and Amper. Logically, the plan is to utilize this experience and knowledge to lead the modernization efforts. Recent geopolitical developments, such as the conflict in Ukraine, have underscored the renewed importance of battle tanks in military arsenals. In response, European armies, including Spain's, are reassessing their armored capabilities, leading to renewed interest in modernization initiatives. For example, as reported by Army Recognition on October 10, 2023, Sweden's Defense Materiel Administration recently signed a contract valued at approximately 301 million with Krauss Maffei Wegman, KMW, 
to modernize its Stritzvingen 122, STRV 122, MBTs, also based on the Leopard 2 platform. This comprehensive upgrade includes electronic component replacements for compatibility with modern systems, integration with advanced command and control networks, and the installation of a new 120mm-L55 caliber cannon with advanced ammunition programming capabilities.